Hi, in this short video I'm going to show you how to download one of these calendar and lectionary files and import it into Outlook 2010. So the first stage is to download one of the files. So I've gone to the archive page here and I want the complete file which uh, includes all the festival names plus all the readings throughout the year. So I'll just download that in my browser, click save and then switch to Outlook. So to import it into the calendar, we go to File, Open, Import, and the Import and Export wizard appears. So it's actually the default option we want, to import from another program or file, we click Next. So it then asks, what file type is it? Now it's a CSV file, that's a comma separated values file. And there's two listed, but we want the Windows one. So select that, click Next. So we then are asked to locate the file that we've just downloaded. There it is. And then there's these three options. What should Outlook do with any duplicate entries that it finds? That's duplicates that are already in your calendar. Um, well, we'll allow duplicates to be created. I know there aren't any. Um, so we'll just... Uh, We'll just do that, but select the option that you feel most comfortable with, and then we click Next. So the next step is to select which calendar you want this file imported into. Now most of you will probably just have one called Calendar, but I've created a separate one for this example. So I'll select that and click Next. And that takes me to the final stage, which uh, is asking me just to confirm that this is what I want to do. I want to import this file into Outlook. So we'll click Finish, and we see the progress bar will show us um, the data being imported, and there it is. There's our there's our files um, with all the different entries for uh, for the calendar. So I can just show you in different views here. There's a week view, a day view. And if we double click one of the entries, you'll see the information for each day with the Eucharist information, morning prayer, evening prayer information. For some reason, Outlook uh, 2010 has made that, um, has altered the, the, the formatting of it, but uh, don't worry about that. So that's it. That's the calendar now completely populated with the file information. Thank you.